Alright, uh, grade 7. This uh, will be your output for the 3D exercises. So here is a 10 feet by 8 feet by 16 feet uh, chicken barn. So this is an, a model of an actual barn. Uh, this was modeled from the YouTube channel of Dexter's World. So as you can see, it is made of um, galvanized iron sheets. Alam niyo yung corrugated natin na para sa roof natin. Yan. So ito siya. Gawa siya dyan. Yan yung pantakil sa kanya. Tapos doon sa uh, loob naman niya, yung pinaka frame niya is made of wood. So yun yung mga wood na nakikita natin dito. Tapos yung kanyang uh, door is screen door lang siya. Try natin tingnan siya sa loob. Also, here is the good thing about Helen. Diba? Kilala nyo na si Helen, yung ating uh, resident sa ating SketchUp models. Ayan. So, uh, with a height of 10 feet, yung ating barn, you can compare it with the height of Helen. Around Ayan, around 5 feet si Helen. So, yan. Nakakompare natin siya uh, via proportion. Okay. Para mas madali natin makita yung loob niya, let's use the function of slicing or ginamit natin before to cut the view. So, here we have the section plane. So, hindi pa natin ito nagamit before. Kasi hindi pa naman siya applicable sa inyo. So, let's choose a plane. So, gagamitin ko tong um, plane of this so wood para makat natin siya right before nyo. Ayan. So, nung clinic ka na siya, there. Uh, I have this cutting plane already. Nakatapat siya dito sa my surface of that wood that I've chosen. And now I can see the insides. So, tingnan natin. Now we have a um, we have concrete dito. Tapos yung sa ilalim naman niya or yung nasa gitna is solid. Okay? So the beauty of SketchUp lalo na kapag tapos mo na yung ginagawa mo is that you have the creativity to uh, use your materials, choose your materials, uh, such as, ayan, meron kang choices for wood, meron kang choices para dun sa color of your roofing, all of those, right? So, this is what you're gonna be uh, doing. Leading modeling for SketchUp. So as you can see here, I have a plane that is cutting my barn. So let me just um, delete it first, so that you can see the whole of the barn. So delete. Yeah. So you can see Helen again. This barn is uh, has a overall length of 10 feet by 8 feet by 16 feet. 10 feet for the height, 8 feet for the width, and 16 feet for the length. So the materials of this barn is, is made up of galvanized, corrugated galvanized iron sheets. Ito yung galvan na tinatawag natin. Siya yung nasa roof of most houses. Then we have a screen door. And also we, all, we have the frames as uh, this is made of wood. Doon naman sa ba, it's made up of concrete. Alright? For the dimensions, we'll talk about those later. However, to make your activities faster, what we can do is we shall be sharing with you shortcut keys for your keyboard. 
so that uh, instead of clicking on this um, gizmo panel at the left side, you could easily change from one command to, to another. Let's say, for instance, I want to I want to change from the command of pointer to that of making a line. I can just press L and then I could draw in a line right away. So I press L and I can draw a line already. But let's say I have to rotate while doing the shapes then I could just press O. Then I could rotate and then complete my action. Go back to the line. So it's as if I'm doing magic, but actually I'm just pressing commands uh, such as L, O, and my spacebar. So I was able to create that shape without me having to point here at this left side. Okay, so let me share with you the shortcut keys. Here they are. So if you want to uh, make your command be at the pointer, just press spacebar for select command. So the proper name for that command is select. To create your lines or polylines, just press L. To have a command for a deleting tool, you can use eraser uh, but as far as i am concerned i am more convenient in using uh, the delete button but after i select what i need to remove then when you want to create an arc uh, for this arc it is on default under two point arc if you want to see which uh, commands these letters correspond to, you can go to your sketch up and then here you can see a magnifying glass. This is your search tool. And let's say you want to find art. Under art, there are four ways that you can create an art, but uh, the shortcut tool A is designated for two point art. So when you press A on your screen, what you can create would then be based on a two point art. So one, two, and then you just choose the bulge. And there you have your two point art. All right. Other shortcuts we have rectangle. Some of you do not uh, usually use the rectangle because you already have the line and you can control the dimensions based on the line. Then we also have circle, push and pull. This will be used for our uh, 3D push and pull later on. Then the paint bucket, move, what we use to move things around. And then we also have rotate, scale, rotate. We'll be using that later on for the angle. Then we have scale and tape measure. Tape measure just to measure the distance. Right? So those are some of the keys. If you want to modify your uh, keyboard shortcuts, you may do so, but I will no longer be discussing them how them here just yeah, search for that in the uh, helpless sketchup.com and you can look for ways on how to change the shortcuts but for the sake of this discussion which focuses on the 3d we will no longer be discussing that okay all right so this barn is inspired by a low-cost barn brought to you by uh, Dexter's World in YouTube. So let's see uh, the actual uh, chicken barn that we are modeling.
So here's the front view. The screen door. And then here's the inside of the bar. So you can see these are wood. Wood planks with the timber. Then we have the concrete here and some soil on the middle. Also the GI sheets that surrounds the top and sides of the barn. So this will be our burn model. We will be trying to copy uh, this uh, real model into our SketchUp. So some details that we have to note of uh, our timbers on the top they are placed um, atop our vertical wood and one on the middle. So mas marami yung nasa uh, top natin na wood than those on the sides. For the back side, we just have one to three vertical woods and actually these are three layers one on for the horizontal one at the bottom one in the middle and another one on top practically three because we have we have uh, practically four because we have another one here on top for the top shelf, top roofing. For the front portion, we have the screen door. In our model, it's just plainly made of screen, but you can always uh, remodel it so that it could copy this one then next instead of just uh, cutting the side into two equal portions for this one let's we can consider this as around uh, three equal portions but actually this is smaller but for the sake of modeling we can just uh, consider this as one third or later on we can make it since this is eight foot eight feet we can make it three feet three feet and then two feet so those are our considerations